This deacon's review will cover the ordination to the Holy Priesthood. The Holy Ordination to the Priesthood takes place after the Great Entrance. The candidate, after saying the prayers at the altar, heads to the table of oblation, where the heir is placed on his head by the hierarch. He then goes in procession for the Great Entrance and stands in the middle of the, the nave. After the great entrance, everyone returns to the altar except for the candidate, who stays in the middle of the nave. Then one of the deacons comes and takes the air off of his head to bring it to the altar. The senior deacon and another deacon now comes to the middle of the church and grabs a candidate. As you see, there's two bows, with each deacon saying command at each bow, and he's led to the royal doors. He then enters the royal doors, where priests are waiting for him to process him around the altar. He processes around the altar three times, kissing each corner. As we saw when he walked in, he did a full prostration before the altar, and then the clergy start singing the tropar, and the choir responds. There's a tropar for each time around the altar. Around this final time, he bows before the bishop, he kisses the omophorion, and then the bishop's hand, and then waits for the completion of the singing and the start of the second tropar before he starts again. Here at the conclusion of the second time around, he kisses, makes a prostration and kisses the bishop's palitza and his hand and waits for the third time to come around. At the third time, he then makes a bow, prostration before the altar, and gets ready for the laying on of hands. It's also worth pointing out that we see that two priests are leading the candidate around the altar. In another tradition, a different priest leads the candidate around the altar each time. The laying on of hands now takes place. The candidate kneels at the altar, has his hands placed over each other. The senior deacon says, let us attend. And the bishop offers a prayer in which the clergy responds singing, Lord have mercy. And then the choir as well responds singing, Lord have mercy. During that time, the priests for priestly ordination read the litany quietly to each other while the prayer is going on. And then at the conclusion on the laying of the hands comes the vesting. The candidate is now walked through the royal doors in front. His aurorian is taken off. He's given the priestly stole. With each item he's vested with, he kisses the item in the bishop's hand. The bishop proclaims Oxius. He is worthy. The clergy respond, and then the choir. In this case, he's also given an award, so that is placed on in its appropriate spot. Being a deacon, he already has the cuffs, so then it goes to the vesting with the belt. Then finally the felony. And again, we see here the pectoral cross coming in. We also see the clergy helping vest. This might also be done by subdeacons, or the bishop himself may want to do this. And yet another award. It's important to have the liturgical book ready, although it was omitted here in this clip. And then a final blessing is done with the bishop after that axios. After the ordination, the priest now joins his brother clergy in line. In some traditions, he stands in the first place. In others, he stands in the second place next to the senior priest, but partakes of the liturgical actions from here with a kiss of peace, the lifting of the air. After the consecration of the holy gifts, he is given a portion of the precious body of our Savior, and he is placed at the side of the altar with his hands holding a discos with a precious lamb on, in which he stands prayerfully until the hierarch returns that piece to the rest of the lamb. After receiving Holy Communion, he then goes to the hierarch and gets a blessing and is to remember this hierarch in his daily prayers. He then prepares to distribute Holy Communion to the faithful and then prepares after Communion to give his first exclamation as a priest, which is the prayer of the Envon, in which he, at, after the hierarch says, let us depart in peace, kisses the altar table, bows to him, and goes to the bottom of the Envon, and then returns to the altar at the end of the prayer, kissing the altar once again and bowing to the hierarch. He then is congratulated by the hierarch with his family at the end of the service, and in some customs he blesses with his hand as the newly ordained priest and the grace of the priesthood, or in some cases he then blesses with the hand cross.